for some of you that have been watching my videos for a while, you might know this about me. I do not like, well I guess I don't like a lot of things, but one thing that I really don't like are sloths. I don't like them at all. In fact, you could say I despise them. I get physically uncomfortable when I see pictures of sloths. Please don't send them to me. But the thing is I really don't like three-toed sloths. <sighs> like, ugh. Sloths are always smiling, or at least they look like they're smiling, which I don't like. It's almost like they have a secret. What are you hiding, sloth? What aren't you telling us? They're plotting something. You can't possibly hang out in a tree all day and not be thinking about something. I'm sure that oh, there's going to be the sloth takeover. You're like, in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, they were like, they're the dolphins. They're like, so long, thanks for all the fish. It's going to be the sloths, and they're going to be like, you weren't even paying attention to us. You thought we were just really cute. You're like, oh, Kristen Bell, you think we're really cute. Bring us into your home. We're tropical, we're exotic, but we're all, we're so cute. Oh, we're so cute. She starts crying. Takeover. It's going to be a takeover. I did some research before doing this video because I wanted to make sure that I was up on my sloth knowledge. It was a rough experience. Ugh, let's pull up these sloth books. <sighs> I don't like these pictures. The animal is so lethargic that its fur is often host to small moths, beetles, and even algae. That sounds like a bad stand-up bit. Your sloth is so lethargic. Ugh, can you imagine just having bugs living in your hair? I guess some people can imagine that, homeless people can imagine that. Get it together! They eat twigs, leaves, and fruit. This diet leaves the sloth with very little energy to move around and low metabolism and low body temperature. It's like, hey sloth, maybe if you started to move around a little bit, maybe if you started your own exercise regime, you'd be able to buff up a little bit. If I can lift two five pound weights, I think you can too. Get a wee fit. What's the wee fit of the forest? Follow a hummingbird around or something. You don't have to like, reach. Like, that was even too fast. So like, get your act together. Here's my impression of the sloth. Hey guys, I was eating some leaves today. Hey, can you pass that? I think I might. Nope, I'm asleep. sleeping. Do you know what would happen if I spent 20 hours a day sleeping? And then I'd have someone barking at me being like, hey, get up. What do you do with your life? You're only awake four hours a day. I'd probably develop bed sores of some kind. You'd hear about it on the news. This sloth, they just like get by somehow. People don't get on their case about anything. Who started this sloth trend to begin with? Who up there was like, oh, these sloths are cute. They're not. They're creepy. They've got a secret plan, I'm telling you. Sloths have adapted to living in trees so well, they even mate while hanging from branches. Well, I mean, I guess that's impressive, that's something. They only leave their tree to urinate or defecate about once a week. I don't like it. Thanks for watching. I'm super dramatic. Hello.